So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what seems to be every internet marketer's favorite topic these days, and that is Shopify. Now, and everywhere you look, there's another course or another video or something else talking about how Shopify is the greatest thing since sliced bread. It's the new gold rush, blah, blah, blah. I think it's a joke. I think there are much more profitable ways to start your internet marketing career, and that's exactly what we're going to be breaking down today, is how much Shopify is going to cost you, how little you're going to make, and how much more you can make by doing SEO client consulting. So let's jump into my computer and get started. So you want to be a rock superstar and live large, big house, five cars, you can charge. Okay, so we're here in my computer, and we're just going to straight up break this down by the numbers. Shopify, if you're not familiar with Shopify, basically what you do, it's a website building platform for e-commerce. Well, the way a lot of people are teaching it and a lot of people are using it is to create a website and then find products from a site called Alibaba or AliExpress, drop ship them from China at a profit. So for example, if you find, I don't know, a Star Wars or Superman figure, and, you, and after, I think there's actually license issues with selling stuff like that. But just for the sake of it, we'll, we'll say a Star, a Star Wars fi action figure on the site. And then you find it for five bucks. And then you, what you do is you put it on your store and sell it for 15 bucks and sell, and sell it to clients via Facebook ads. That's the most common thing and <clears throat> the common way it's done. And then some people will even tell you to charge zero for it and then just charge shipping. But that's a whole different conversation. So. Basically, it's you set up the website, you find a product to sell, somebody else's product to sell from China, and you sell it via ads. So that's basically how it works. If you want to know more about it, just look at literally every internet marketing YouTube channel in existence, and you'll find out more information on how to set up a Shopify store. What we're going to be talking about are the numbers and why it just does not work for a beginner. So first of all, Shopify.com, there's a monthly fee to use it. And that's the, the cheapest plan that they have is $29 a month. A lot of people need the $79 a month plan, but I'm trying to be as conservative as possible for someone on a boot, on bootstrap. So that's $29 a month right out of the gate just to have a site on their site. Then you're going to need to add, to make it really work and to make it be profitable, you're going to need to add some plugins. These are things that add features to Shopify that it doesn't have on its own because, well, that's just the way they make money. So... Some of the popular ones you're going to need are plugins for abandoned cart. What that means is it, if someone starts to check out and they give up on it, you'll get like a, a notification or an email about it. So you can then email, follow up email with them and say, hey, we, looked, we saw that you were about to buy this. What can we do to make you buy it? Can we give you a discount? Blah, blah, blah. Then you want an upsell app. Basically what that is is somebody buys – Darth Vader's action figure and then they get uh, before they check out they get a pop-up or something that says would you also like to buy Han Solo so you can have lightsaber battles with them or something like that so that's what an upsell is we've all seen stuff like that when we check out at places and then you want to get something with social proof basically what that is is these little pop-ups that will tell you uh, so and so from Des Moines Iowa just bought the Darth Vader action figure or something like that so all those come to about 50 bucks a month. And I'm not making this stuff up, guys. You can go look on Shopify.com. And I actually ran a, st a store like that for a while, which is why, where I'm pulling these numbers from. So that's that's about brings us up to another $50 a month. Then you want to get a domain to host it on because it, if you have it on your domain.shopify.com, it doesn't work as well. So a domain plus domain privacy, which I recommend you get on literally every domain you buy, otherwise you're going to get harassed, is another 20 bucks. Then you want to get an email autoresponder. Well, now, what an email autoresponder is, is <clears throat> a way to contact your clients and customers, follow up with them, and set up email sequences to help sell them on stuff. This is absolutely critical to making one of these stores work. And there are a lot of email autoresponders out there. Some of them are free, but the ones that work really well with Shopify, like uh, Klaviyo or Market Hero, you're looking at 99 bucks a month, give or take. So you're going to want to have that if you're going to make this work. And then advertising, the way you're going to drive traffic and get people to know about your store is by spending ads, generally Facebook ads, but there are other uh, platforms, I suppose. But the ones I always see are Facebook. So you're looking at another five, if you're only spending five bucks a day, which is really generous, or really low and being very generous in how much I think you're going to have to spend to make this work, you're looking at another $150 a month. And then each item, I suppose you're going to find a $5 item that you're going to sell for $15. That's another five bucks per item cost per month. So we're going to assume for the sake of out this example that you're going to make one sale a day, 
which again with five dollars of ad spend is very generous so we're going to say another five dollars per item per day that's another 150 dollars a month so just for the the base plan for shopify the, the plugins that you need to really make it work as well as you can the domain and the privacy email auto responder advertising and item cost you're looking at 498 dollars a month just to get started so what kind of sales will that mean that's a total cost of $498 per month. Now, if you make one sale a day at 15 bucks on your $5 item, you're looking at $10 profit or $300 profit per month from sales. Again, that's very generous on $5 a day of ad spend, but it can be done. And maybe you can find a more expensive item, but in my experience, anything more than that, you're asking, you're going to have a hard time selling it on Facebook ads without having a big brand established first. So that's... So you're looking at $300 profit minus $498 in cost, or basically you've just lost $198 your first month. Now, let me be very, very clear. Shopify is is a great business model. Drop shipping, e-commerce is definitely a great business model. I know some people that make seven figures with it, but I'm, what I'm trying to show you is a way to get started as a beginner and how you're gonna lose money right out the gate. If, don't take this as me saying you shouldn't do Shopify or e-commerce or drop shipping, but I'm trying to help you get started and get basically get a business internet marketing business going. So what I recommend you do instead is SEO client consulting. Now I realize these are kind of different things, but again, the goal here is to get you to making money and get you to having an internet marketing career that you can live on as quickly as possible. So let's look at the costs associated with SEO client consulting. You're going to need a domain plus privacy. I forgot to put privacy there, but that's part of it too. Again, you're looking at about 20 bucks. <clears throat> for hosting for that domain, you're going to need to pay about 9 to $12 per month. I put 9 because that's the, the package that I, most people I know start off with. <clears throat> so that's another $9 per month. You're going to want to get a professional-looking WordPress theme for your business site, and those run around $59. And then once you get a client, you're going to have to be able to, to rank them. So the main thing you're going to need to purchase is things like links and social signals. And you can handle that for about 100 bucks per month if you know where to look. If, you, if you're not sure where to look for stuff like that, just check out yesterday's video about SEO outsourcing sites and stuff like that. And you can get a good idea where to start on that. So, so for the domain plus privacy plus hosting plus a WordPress theme and links to rank your clients, that's about $188 per month. And to be clear, when I'm talking about domains and hosting and WordPress themes, I'm talking about setting up a business site for yourself, just so you have some place to collect leads and to show people that you are a business. So that's about the main things you need to get started with that. So we're looking at $188 per month. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is start finding some clients. So Suppose that you make it, make some calls, emails, and I'm going to talk about different ways to get clients for free here in just a minute. But and you're able to sign one client at $500 per month. Now that's a really low level client, and most people won't even take clients at that level. But again, we're talking about people that are just getting started. So that's 500 bucks per month per client right there. So if you take that $500 and back out the $188 of cost that we just talked about, you've already made a profit of $312 per month, your first month. And again, that's with one client that doesn't pay very well at all. So you can see the difference. It's a matter of with Shopify, losing $188, $198 your first month, or with SEO client consulting, making $312 your first month. Now, I understand that there are skills that you have to learn for both of those, and you may want to buy a course or spend time factoring those in, but I'm just talking about hard costs here, So because those are going to be so variable for each different person that it's hard to it's hard to go into that in this video. I, I do have a course on SEO client consulting. I'm not trying to sell you that in this video. I'm not going to link to it or anything like that. Just look around, and you'll, you'll find it out there. So <clears throat> now you're probably thinking, well, that's all great, but how do I even get an SEO client? At least with, or with the Shopify, I know to run some Facebook ads to my product and it'll sell and I'll make some money that way. So let me show you a couple quick ways to get that you can go about getting SEO consulting clients without spending a ton or any money if you really want to. There's a bunch of different options. You can do cold calling. So essentially what you would do, and that, this is basically what I'm going to talk about in these two, in several of these examples, is cold calling. And you just go to like page three of Google, pick out a term that you want to get a client for. I don't know. Sacramento plumbing company or something like that 
find the, all the sites on page three and just call them and explain to them why they're on page three and why they're losing money and why that means that they need SEO if they want to start making more profit and beating out their competitors. That's one way you can go about it. Obviously, it's more involved than that, but that's what, how a lot of people get started. I know some people that are really, really good at this, so that's one way to go about getting your SEO clients. Another is cold emailing. Basically, you use the same approach that I just talked about. You go and you pick sites that need SEO, whether they're on page three, four, ten, what, whatever, and you just call, you send them an email saying, "Hey, I noticed that your site is on page <clears throat> page four for, uh, I don't know, for Philadelphia lawyer." You wouldn't really want to go after that as one of your first niches. I'm just pulling something off the top of my head here, but uh, I think I can help you get up to page one and start making you some more sales. Is that something we can sit down and talk about sometime? Can we jump on a call? What? Something like that. Then you could go to networking events, whether it's just uh, something from meetup.com. I have a video on that on the channel, so check that out. Or it's uh, Chamber of Commerce events or whatever. Just you know, look on Craigslist, look in your local areas, things like that. And just go out there and talk to people and meet people and you know, offer them something cheap to get started and then sign them as a, a, a client. Like This is just basic business 101, right? You go where the people are, you meet them, and there you go. LinkedIn is another great free source of getting clients. You can go on LinkedIn and just reach out to business owners. There's def- better and worse ways to go about it, but I like to just connect with a bunch of them and then get to know them a little bit and then can <clears throat> sell them on some SEO. And then there's referrals. I guarantee that you have some friends or family or someone that owns a business or know someone that owns a business that need SEO. So you just ask everybody, make a post on Facebook, on Twitter, whatever, Instagram, whatever you use, saying that you're starting a new business and you'd like to help them, you'd like to help some businesses in the area. So if they know anybody to send them your way, that's just a few methods right there. That's five different methods you can for free that you can get clients. You can hammer each one of these every day. And if you, if you really work at it, you're going to get at least one client a month. Again, at the super cheap price of $500 a month, you're still making $312 per month per profit per client. So again, I'm not suggesting that you can that you get a $500 a month client, but it's feasible. My first client was $500 a month, and I've scaled up from there. So that's pretty much it. You can you can mess around with Shopify and sell you know toys and things like that. It's a great business model, and like I said, I do know people that make a very very good living, more than a good living. They make a lot of money doing that, but to me, it's not beginner friendly. It's not a great way to get started making money on the internet. So I think client consulting is because you, the costs are almost non-existent. You could theoretically even skip some of the costs that I showed you and you can start having money in your hand today. So it's up to you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you understand where I'm coming from. Please do me a favor, subscribe if you like this and then hit the notification bell so you can get alerted to some new videos come out. We're going to be putting one out every day for thir- at least 30 days. Today was day number two. So that's all I've got for you. Thanks for a lot for watching and have a great day. Take care.